All right, let's talk about you get uh, annoying calls. You're sitting in the office, and your Cisco IP phone rings, and you pick up, and nobody's there. And uh, this happens all day long, and it drives you nuts. You want to block those annoying calls into Cisco Call Manager. Um, th th it will work. I call it a temporary Band-Aid fix. It's not really a solution. Um, th the reason why is typically the numbers will change, and if it is a telemarketer, they'll easily spoof their number. They'll give a fake callback number. Um, I've seen everything from, uh, you know, uh, IT department or, or something, but they're always changing their number, especially if it's an international call. It's easy to spoof a number. There's nothing that goes back from the telco and validates that the number being sent is actually a legitimate number. If I wanted to pretend I was Bill Gates, I could put a, a Redmond number and a name is Bill Gates and uh, send it out my PRI and uh, most carriers won't block it. There, there was some laws enacted a while ago. But there's no real teeth, especially if they're coming from a Pakistan or, or India or a foreign country. Uh, uh, I get a lot of calls that they say they're from the Microsoft IT department and they want to fix a virus on my PC. And Instead, what they really want to do is get you into a web session to run a BitLocker or Drive encryption, and uh, then they have the key, and then you don't and then they want to charge you for the key. But let's say you do want to block these numbers. You have two choices. One is you can go into iOS. Uh, iOS is limited in the number of reject rules that it can create. Uh, it's limited to 100. Um, so after you create 100, you'd have to start removing entries uh, and working your way. But again, a lot of times what I see is, you know, once, once you reject these calls, the uh, far end eventually removes your number uh, from the list, or they just change the number they're calling from. And uh, the other solution to this is you can simply press uh, star 69 from a phone, and it won't send your calling party number to the other side. Uh, so that would mean that they'd get through that way as well. Um, so here's the uh, configuration. I basically got a dial up here. I've uh, tied this to a trunk group. It could be port 000 colon 23 or something else, but I've tied it to a group of PRIs that are at this site. I've then created a translation profile called block numbers. Uh, and then I put my uh, blocked uh, numbers uh, in here. So this is, if you do a debug ISDN Q931, the calling party is the uh, from, uh, you know, where it's coming from. And the call is uh, not affected in this case. Um, so this is one solution is to use uh, iOS dial peers. But again, you're limited to 100. They can spoof the address, lots of things. The second solution is in call manager basically follow this article and you really need to test this This is not something I would recommend this is a high-risk uh, solution uh, you mess up one little thing you're not going to get calls in another site and I'm not exactly certain like CTI ports or CTI applications if they're going to be happy with this I haven't tested this with with uh, UCCX or attendant console um, but going by this article, you basically create some new partitions. Basically, you're going to route calls into a translation CSS that then routes calls to a CSS that actually has the phone. I call it a double hop. Um, so you need to create these. It's all documented in this article. They do a much better job than, than I do. So I'd recommend following that article. Uh, again, the key for anything is making test calls in the site, looking at your debug Q931s, uh, making certain you're not sending errors back. Um, and then uh, you'll have a translation list in this filter list that would basically block numbers. So it goes through, looks at the, and it uses a new feature in, uh, I think this is in Call Manager 8 or 9, uh, check route uh, next hop by calling party number. Um, so that's a new feature. So you won't be able to do this in older versions of Call Manager, but you need to have that uh, route by next hop uh, calling party number in there. And uh, that's it. Easy peasy, right? Good luck. Let me know how it works.